Thank you for the kind introduction and for giving me the opportunity to be here presenting this work today. Good morning, my name is Teresa Lopez and I'm currently doing my PhD in doctoral status group, searching for new biomarkers of ALS. Today I bring you here the first results of my thesis that, that I have compiled in a poster and title expression study of a cluster of five non-oncoding RNAs in a mass model of amyotrophical lateral sclerosis. First of all, I'm going to start doing a brief introduction of what non-oncoding RNAs are, since they are relatively recently discovered per molecules, and maybe for some of you, maybe unfamiliar. As their name suggests, non-coding RNAs are RNA molecules of more than 200 nucleotides in length, which are not translated into proteins. They can be classified into circular RNAs and linear RNAs. Uh, these last are the one I focus my work on, and they can be further divided into intergenic, intronic, sense overlapping, or antisense RNAs. What have we to know about non-oncoding RNAs? They are present in a large diversity of species, including animals, plants, yeast, prokaryotes, and even in some viruses, but they are usually low spread. That's why they have traditionally been considered as a kind of transcriptional noise, but nowadays there is more and more evidence that they play a significant role in a wide variety of important biological processes, such as the RNA metabolism. In fact, they can act as transcriptional, translational, and epigenetic regulators of a wide diversity of genes, and also in other processes like proteostasis and autophagy, motor neuron development and differentiation, apopt apoptosis, cell alcohol regulation, inflammation, and neuronal and muscular atrophy. Also, these processes have been, um, let's say, been detected like altered or this misregulated in ALS, we thought that this kind of molecules could be a good potential biomarkers for ALS. And as you probably know, because these days we have been listening to talks about amyotrophical lateral sclerosis, this is one of the most common neuro neurodegenerative diseases. It is characterized by the progressive and selective loss of motor neurons from the spinal cord and brain, which leads to atrophy and paralysis of voluntary muscles. It is a devastating disease with no cure that results in patient death within three to five years from diagnosis. In fact, one of the main telling challenges that it poses is this late diagnosis that is due to the lack of good biomarkers. So with this grant, we set the aim of this study that is to unravel the expression profile of five London coding RNAs in the mind tissues affected in ALS. That is to say, the nervous system and um, particularly in the spinal cord and muscle that specifically will look at the quadriceps along the different stages of the disease using a mouse model of ALS. So for the, this, this purpose, we collected samples from 24 mice, balances on sex and genotype, half of them being uh, have wild type and half of them having a mutation in the SOD1 gene. We choose this mouse model because it's one of the best uh, characterized, let's say, for this disease. And we did, the, we did this in, at three different time points. The first one would be the 60 days, which represents a presymptomatic stage, also at 100 days this that could match with an early symptomatic stage in this animal model and 120 days that 
would represent a late symptomatic stage. We took the samples, we started RNA, and we also did a bibliographic search for potential uh, biomarker candidates that had been previously reported in molecular mechanisms associated with neurodegeneration. Uh, we did the proof design and the validation of the amplification product by sequencing and later we did the analysis by real-time PCR. Results show significant expression differences between SOD1 and wild-type males in these mice as soon as, as 60 days. If you look here in females, we cannot see any differences. Uh, probably this is due to the fact that females in this mouse model usually develop the disease later than males. So they are always like with a kind of retard. So at 150 uh, days, that would be the early symptomatic stage, we still see some uh, some of these differences, we can see it now also in females. And but interestingly, at less symptomatic stage, all these differences disappear. And long encoding 5, in which no significant differences uh, in expression have been detected until now, become significantly as increased in both the spinal cords and muscle of males and females. Temporal patterns of expression for each long encoding are likely related to different processes that are relevant at distinct stages of the disease. Uh, we also um, Wanted, we were interested also in testing whether the levels of this London coding 3 and 5 could correlate with weight. Why London coding 3 and 5? Because London coding 3 has shown a large variety of expression between individuals, and London coding 5 was misregulated at the latest stage, that is, when we weight the animals. So, indeed, we found that in both cases, there was a correlation of weight with expression levels in muscle. This result is remarkable because weight is associated to life expectancy in this disease. In summary, we can say that non-non-coding RNAs were differentially expressed in SOD1 and Walter mice at different ages, and this expression profile not only varied according to age, but also according to sex and tissue. These findings are consistent with the different disease progression observed in males and females of this specific modern model of ILF, as well as its different frequency implications. Among all the long coding studies, long coding 1, long coding 3, and long coding 5 stand out. Long coding of one levels are decreased at early stages and a spinal cord of male and female solely one mice. Likewise, long coding three is diminished at early stages in a spinal cord of both male and female ILS mouse model and in quadriceps of model male solely one mice. Last but not least, long coding 5 is increased at later stages of the disease in a spinal cord and muscle of male and female SOD1 mice. It shows a consistent progression throughout the whole disease course, standing out as a possible candidate for prognostic or diagnostic biomarker of this disease. Furthermore, long coding 3 and long coding 5 expression level in muscle of later stage mice negatively correlate to weight. Finally, altered expression patterns of the long encoding RNAs studied suggest that they may play an important role in the pathogenesis and development on, of this disease. What we want to do next? Uh, well, we want to study 
to extend the study to other non-coding RNAs and test the expression of the most relevant candidates in serum. And we would also like to correlate the levels of the most promising candidates with the survival of so the one animals in serial blood samples or POC. I would like to end by thanking all the members of the group, as well as Dr. Alberto Garcia Redondo from the Instituto de Investigación Sanitaria Hospital 12 de Octubre, who also participates in this project. And, all the and of course, to all the funders who have made this work possible. Thank you, that's all. And um, if you have any questions later, I will be happy to answer them.